Hello everyone, I am Melissa Varley, the superintendent of Berkeley Heights Public Schools, and I'm here to talk to you today about our COVID-19 issue that we have this in, in Berkeley Heights. Um, prior to us learning that we had a case of COVID-19, we were already cleaning the schools, spraying with um, a solution called BioEsk, and I can post that on the website. And it does kill coronavirus as well as the flu, as well as everything else. However, once we learned we had a case, we closed the school to make sure that we could do a deep cleaning starting the day at 8 a.m. and working throughout till about 5 p.m. I was in contact with our department supervisor of buildings and grounds and also the state supervisor of buildings and grounds ensuring that every surface was wiped down or sprayed so that our students would be safe. And I can assure you our students are as safe here as they are anywhere else in public. So next week we are taking two early dismissal days so that we can train our teachers in online instruction. Our teachers, just like the general public, have varied levels of technology skills. So we're going to work with them in case we are put in a long-term shutdown so that they can deliver instruction online and our students can continue to prosper educationally. The two days will be the 19th and 20th of next week, that's a Thursday and a Friday, and we will work diligently to get them prepared in case of a shutdown. We do not make the call as a district where whether we are shut down or not. It is the Department of Health who will let us know if we are allowed to continue with school. Okay. You may also, we have the Department of Health attending our board meeting on Thursday night, this coming Thursday at 730 at the Columbia Middle School cafeteria. We welcome you to come and ask her any questions. I do believe the township also has a video where she is present and discussing COVID-19. Um, for our nurses, currently we have a protocol in place where the nurses, if they notice someone has anything, whether it's a strep throat, a fever, stomach virus, flu, they contact the parents to come get the student and then take them to the doctor. We also have it in place where, the, where our teachers constantly visit the nurses because they're right there, they're local, they're accessible to get medical advice. So any of our teachers, if they are noticed with any, or faculty members with any kind of issues, the nurse would also recommend that they go to their local physician. If a child has a pre-existing medical condition, then they, you as a parent should contact the building principal. We have met today to discuss building protocols moving forward, and the principal would be your best bet. Thank you very much.